Captain of Vice, Captain, you the Vice Captain of Melbourne? No, mate. Captain of Vice instead <laughs> at the Melbourne yes. Football Club. Ladies and gentlemen, the seat is empty, which means, of course, one thing. We're in for something very special tonight from the great man himself. Please welcome 300 game veteran of the Geelong Football Club, the one, the only, Mr. John Sammy Newman. <laughs> Ted Davis. Sorry, I, I was mistaken in the introduction. I thought it was Sam Newman. No, Chad, Chad, Chad Davis Chad from Springvale yeah. and uh, Go, they, go the Burr what are they called? Who's that? Go the Springers. Yeah, the Scorpions. <laughs> right, that yeah, that that's too. Oh. Yeah, gee, it's amazing when you get bitten on the snag, what you forget, Ed. <laughs> now, anyhow, look, I know, pardon the pun, but it was blown out of all proportion, the incident. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, uh, he's a fantastic bloke, and he, I mean, he left a bit Who's of a. that? This is uh, Peter Felicia, Peter um, <laughs> Peter Philandia. Right, He's a yeah. fantastic bloke, yeah. and he, he left a souvenir, Ed. But uh, I love him. He got the ten weeks, and uh, we should let bygones, and that's bygones. Bygones. Bygones be bygones. He had a yeah. bit of a crack. Actually, he never got that far, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but I could, I, I could actually see it coming, Ed, because yeah. he'd been tending bar down at Port Melbourne the week before. And these two good-looking chicks walked up to the bar and one said, could I have a Chardonnay? And he said, certainly. And the other said, you wouldn't have a semi on, would you? And he said, no, it's just the way I'm standing. And uh, I reckon from then on it went downhill, to be yeah. honest, Ed. Yeah. But uh, I'm happy that we're so, here and I've got some of it intact. I yeah. apparently can still fire a shot in anger. <laughs> Sorry, and I intend to do it later, Ed. Good on you, Thank Chad. you very we'll much. Down. That's good on you. Well done, Chad. Chad Davis joining us now. Yes, uh, certainly uh, has been an interesting week. We'll have uh, a bit more of a look at that incident a little bit later on the show, and uh, it certainly, in a serious note, has left, left a nasty taste. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, thick and fast, and I can tell you, more thick than you're faster. You're sitting at home wondering what he's in for. Yeah, that boy. How do you reckon Peter was going to know about nine o'clock? Just sitting together. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Up and out we go. Well, Pete, get ready because we haven't finished with it yet. Let's go to the bloke behind the bar, Trevor Marmalade. <laughs> Well, it just shows that you can be too hungry for the ball, can't you? <laughs> I didn't know it was possible, but uh, I suppose, well, he's, he's said he's going to play on for Landia, <laughs> which is, yeah. I hope he hasn't got an ongoing problem, because we all know it's pretty hard to stop at just one nut. <laughs> 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 but, uh, <laughs> but poor Chad Davis, or uh, Lefty as he's now known, <laughs> is, uh, he's going to miss this week. He's got the new curse in football, yeah, gingivitis pubis. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, luckily he has had some. Uh, he has an offer from the Vienna Boys Choir, though. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> but it, it's actually it's not a unique incident. Uh, I actually did the same thing to Glenn Manton once. Uh, it, right? it was a social game, yeah. but it wasn't a good idea. Murder on the fillings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he did get a stat for it though, he did get a hardball get. It was, it was, but anyway, all right, is that, uh, anybody oh, got, any in the audience got something? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've nearly got some. Trent, you got one more? I'll tell you, one good thing did it come out of it though, Ed. We oh, got to that? hear Jim Whaley say, Scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed that, <laughs> Trev, because Sam switched over to watch Sandra Sully said the same thing, but anyway. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's have a look at the incident. We've got the vision of it, we're all mucking around, but it's uh, obviously serious. And, uh, well, James, you're an old teammate of Peter Flandia. We must say that, from all accounts, it is totally out of character for the bloke. Yeah, Plunger's a, uh, a terrific fella, but uh, that's something he'll have to live with for the rest of his life. Uh, and 10 weeks of the tribunal, probably pretty lenient. But the story goes that um, he felt pressure on his mouth. He had stitches in there a couple of weeks before oh, and a bit of blood and, and just reacted uh, nervously. And when people react nervously, funny things happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't well, think the video... He said he, he, yeah. he was out of breath, didn't he? Was he... Did he say he couldn't breathe? <laughs> might have been going for the. He might have been going for the snorkel. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just on a, on a serious yeah, note. I mean, mean no, not on a serious note. Not on a serious <laughs> note. No. no. If you can open your mouth wide enough to get a testicle in it, why wouldn't you suck in some air at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> on a serious note, though, ten weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, mean, not you many. Should, I mean, you should get ten for biting, and if you're biting somebody on the... People pay good money for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us more, Crook. No, ten, ten, weeks, ten weeks for Sam attempted oral me. sex, and I've been trying for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on somebody else, though, so. <laughs> What do you reckon, Croft? I mean, ten weeks. Oh, I think we've all been in situations like that. Have um, we? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, only up in your apartment, Jane. <laughs> yeah. I suppose no, it is the week yeah, after the Logies, after all, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry? It is the week after the Logies. That's right. Yeah. No, Sam was telling me all about it. <laughs>